Terrapin say you spit crack on me, we spit that heroin Bring it right to your front door like I'm careless Standing next to me would be so embarrassing Yeah, we be ballin', ballin'. I came from nothing to something like it's nothing Yeah, you know I done it, that is no discussion, bitch, I'm ballin' What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Fat Dallas If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that thumbs up button And subscribe and become a part of the fam Today we are gonna talk about the NBA Finals Game number three is on the way, and I'm going to give y'all a little bit of my knowledge, a little bit of my input on how I think the game is going to turn out. Now, the Golden State Warriors are up 2-0, to zero, and it's been blowouts, man, to say the least, so far. So, it's two keys to this series so far. Number one, Kevin Durant. They picked up a guy that brings an extra 25 to 28 points to the contest, and Golden State was already a trigger happy squad. Now, the second key to this is J.R. Smith. He has not shown up. He has not shown up the whole series. In order for Cleveland to be how Cleveland is known to be, J.R. Smith got to bring you 15 to 18 points, man. He has to. There's no way for Cleveland to win this game or the rest of the series, period, without J.R. Smith showing up or somebody off the bench putting up 12, 15, or 18 points. That is what they need. Kevin Love, Kyrie Irving, and LeBron James does not match up with Kevin Durant and the Splash Brothers. Man, I'm telling you. Let me know in the comment section how y'all feel about the situation. I got Cleveland winning this first game at home only if J.R. Smith shows up. J.R. Smith, if you play the video game, if you know anything about video games, J.R. Smith is always a top five or top six shooter. On the video game, his three point is 92, 93%. But in real life, you look to your left, you look to your right, he is nowhere to be found, man. J.R. Smith or somebody off the bench has to show up or Cleveland is done. Put a fork in them, they done. Now the biggest difference I think in the series is the addition to Kevin Durant and then this. Listen closely. LeBron James, he's going to bring you 27, 35 points every game. He is just that good. Stephen Curry, he can have a mm -mm, okay game. You know, Thompson can have a mm -mm, okay game. Kevin Durant, he's going to do his thug thizzle. He tall. It's hard to block his shot. He's lanky. He can get to the lane. He can do it all, man. He's been that way since Texas. The Thunder, it don't matter. He's just Kevin Durant. You know, when they add him to the team, it was like, bah, 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 whoa, what? So the difference in the series is you got to look at it like this. Stephen Curry, if he comes and puts 18 or 20 points into the game, you know, because we got Green, he going to give you the defensive side. Thompson, he's been playing crazy good defense. He's been changing Kyrie Irving's whole game plan. But the difference is if Stephen Curry sits down on the bench, his team can still produce 25 or 30 points. Now, LeBron James, if he sits down on the bench, you might get 12 or 18 points out of his team. That's the biggest difference in this series. LeBron James, they say the big three, Kevin Love, Kyrie, uh, LeBron James, they just don't match up with Kevin Durant and the Splash Brothers. And this is not even including Dr Dramond Green because he can hit three-pointers. He can play aggressive defense, get in the opponent's head, change his whole game plan. So the biggest key is going to be who is going to show up on Cleveland outside of the people that we are used to. Kyrie Irving, LeBron James, and Kevin Love. Who is going to be that fourth person to show up? If somebody shows up, J.R. Smith or anybody else off the bench brings another 12 or 15 points, I am going to give the win to Cleveland. Let me know who you pick in game three in the comment section. Hit that thumbs up button if you're ready for more videos like this. Subscribe if you're new. It's all love.